Hey guys, welcome back. Um, ever since I got my Rapid Change ATC tool changer, um, loading and unloading the 3D probe into my spindle really got more and more annoying. Um, so that's why I added a retractable or deployable probe to my print and see. Um, I have to admit that this thing is a bit inspired by another guy on YouTube called XYZ Spec. Check out his videos, he has some pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. But my approach is a bit different. So, as you can see, I have a standard 12mm linear rail that is directly bolted to my spindle clamp. Um, on the rail I have an aluminum arm that holds the probe and that whole thing is driven up and down of course by a simple and cheap air cylinder. Um, this works pretty good actually. Of course you have to yeah, determine the X and Y offset of the new center of the probe compared to the center of the spindle. But once this is done, um, yeah, you can enter these values into IO center. That's the tool I'm using. And then basically it's pretty straightforward. And how that thing interacts with my rapid change workflow, that's what I'm gonna show you now. So now when I type M6 T99 in IO sender, that's the uh, command to do a tool change and load the probe. The probe will deploy, then it's gonna do a tool length measurement on the corner on the right side. And when this is done, I will jog the machine over this piece of aluminum, I will use the probe to find the edge and measure the height of that piece. After that, we're gonna load a tool from my ATC rack, and then I will jog the tip of the new tool exactly over the corner that we found. And let's see how good that works.
that's it. And yeah, as you can see, it works really good. It found exactly the corner and even the height is correct. So yeah, I'm very happy how yeah, this retractable probe and my tool changer yeah, kind of interact. And yeah, thanks for watching and see you soon guys.